Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome again to the channel. So the other day I recorded my I apologize video and I also recorded uh, three or four other ones without taking the videos off of the video card. I got lazy. Well, what happened was, and you'll hear it a little on the I apologize video, was my mic was acting up. Now this has been going on and off, on and off. I thought it was uh, the, the lighting, you know, the CFLs, the compact fluorescent lights I got going in the sea. I thought, you know, I was picking my, my uh, mic was picking up noise from that. Wasn't the case because I had it outside and I was filming and lo and behold, there was noise. In fact, three of the other videos were ruined. It was so scratchy, so noisy. So staticky, I couldn't use them. So, that could have been two things. Could have been the Polaroid mic that came with my camera. Because I use an external mic. If you use, like I'm using now, the camera mic, a lot of times you'll hear the zoom, zoom, zoom of the servos that moves the lens to keep a focus. Okay. Especially if I'm like doing the whole in and out thing a lot. <clears throat> so... What I was using was an external mic, and I have it right here, which was my little Polaroid mic that came with the camera. And I was also using an extension cord. Now this has a real thin cord, and then the extension cord's nice and beefy. And um, <clears throat> anyway, I haven't tried to figure out where the fault lies, because I was itching to get rid of the mic anyway. It takes a camera battery that, uh, it's expensive low battery for what it is. It also has a LED that just flashes when you put it on and then goes off so you can't tell if you leave it on. If you leave it on overnight, there goes your battery. So it, it's probably, it could be there. It could be the cord. I don't know. But anyway, you know, I try to bring you guys the very best. I cannot change the mug and I cannot change the talent or lack of talent, let's be honest. But what I can do is try and make it look, you know, as far as a good video and sound as good as it can. So I went out and I bought the uh, Rode um, Video Mic Pro, but not just that, I got the one with the uh, Lycoat, I think they call it. The Rycoat. Rycoat Lar Suspension. So, the old pros, he just used rubber bands. And this one, he has a, a, a different suspension system. So, hopefully, I can use the mic on the camera. And it will not pick up the servo sound. And it will help me feel better. And I know everybody does unboxing videos. There's probably a hundred of them out there. And they're kind of boring. We don't care about... What it really looks like we care about what it sounds like in this case so what i'm going to do is cut the video here plug in the new mic and see if we can tell a difference of course i won't be able to know until i do the video after so it's going to be kind of awkward but we'll see what happens so next time you hear me hopefully it'll be on the road okay everybody this is me now talking on the new microphone so i don't know if it sounds any different until i go back and listen to it uh, hopefully it does sound better hopefully it's not making uh, a lot of noise or staticky if it is then it's uh, back to the drawing board and something wrong with the camera I suppose but uh, we shall see you know always some issue but I guess that's what makes it fun thanks so much for your time I highly value it I have to say, I'm behind in uh, answering your comments. You just get behind and then like so many days go by, then you feel like, oh, it's not worth it. They won't even know what I'm talking about. We'll start over. So, you know, I'm trying to catch up, guys. Thanks so much. And until next time, we'll see you.